Good day everyone, let's try to answer some more problem posted on Facebook. And also, special credits to Master Risk Ken for sharing this wonderful question. And let's start. Here's the question. The question is, find the area of the shaded region. Now, if you want to try this problem, just pause this video, and if you're ready, here's the solution. And I hope you pause this video. Now, let's see if you got the correct answer. To answer this question, first thing to do is to extend this segment. Now, if you do that, this will serve as our diameter of this circle. Next thing to do is to locate the center and make some radius like this. Next, let the radius be equal to r. It follows that this segment must be equal to the length of the radius minus 2 or simply r minus 2. Now consider this right triangle. So using Pythagorean theorem, a squared plus b squared equals c squared, we get 5 squared plus r minus 2 squared equals r squared. Now simplify and we get 25 plus r squared minus 4r plus 4 equals r squared. Now at this point, r squared on the left hand side and on the right hand side cancel out. And this will leave us 25 minus 4r plus 4 equals 0. Simplify and we get 29 equals 4r. Divide for both sides and we get r equals 29 over 4. Now at this point, we know the length of the radius of this circle. So therefore, this r becomes 29 over 4 and the other radius becomes 29 over 4. Next thing to do is to let this angle be equal to alpha. Now using this right triangle, we can say that sine of alpha is equal to 5 over 29 over 4 or simply the opposite side of angle alpha all over the hypotenuse. Now simplify, we get that sine alpha equals 20 over 29. Now take arc sine both sides and we get that alpha equals arc sine of 20 over 29. Next, by symmetry, this angle is also alpha. It follows that the measure of 2 alpha must be equal to 2 times arc sine of 20 over 29. So this angle is very important to find the measure of this green region. Because in order to find the area of this green region, we need this angle and the length of the radius of this circle. So again, let's recall the formula in finding the area of this segment. And the formula to find the area of this segment is equal to 1 half times r squared or the length of the radius squared multiplied by theta multiplied by pi all over 180 minus sine of theta. This formula is simply the area of the sector which is equal to 1 half times r squared multiplied by theta times pi all over 180. That's the area of the sector. Now we need to subtract the area of this triangle and the area of the triangle must be equal to 1 half times r squared multiplied by sine of theta. So again, to find the area of the segment, we need to find first the area of the sector and subtract the area of this triangle. And that is this formula. Now at this point, we know the value of theta. And theta must be equal to 2 alpha. And 2 alpha is equal to 2 times arc sine of 20 over 29. And the length of the radius is equal to 29 over 4. Now, substitute all the given values to our formula and we get that the area of the segment or this green region is equal to 1 half multiplied by 29 over 4 squared multiplied by 2 times arc sine of 20 over 29 multiplied by pi all over 180 minus sine of 2 times arc sine of 20 over 29. 
Now simplify this result using our calculators and we get that the area of this segment is approximately equal to 13.75. And again, don't forget the unit. We have unit squared. And we're done.